the Holy Spirit was telling me that the NM wants to engineer setback in his life, in his career, and a threat against his personal life because of his crusade of humility and his crusade against the corruption. That's what the Holy Spirit was telling me. You know, I saw in a vision, he was seated on a chair and uh, there were these fierce looking men who, were, who had drawn out arrows. You know arrows? Who had drawn out arrows all aimed at him. I was asking God, what does this vision mean? The Holy Spirit was saying, this Makufuli, he has got a lot of enemies now. And because he is against uh, corruption, is against anything which causes the majority of the people to suffer. The year has attracted a lot of powerful enemies who are plotting his downfall, and even physical harm if that were to be possible. So I encourage my brothers and sisters in Tanzania to pray for Makufuli, to pray for, for President Makufuli. They should pray for him. They should not wait for calamity to occur on him. They should intercede for him. In actual fact, I encourage my brothers and sisters in Tanzania to actually fast for Makufuli for five days, to fast for him for five days. Hallelujah. This is the message that God sought me. So I'm going to talk about this East African country. Because some people may be wondering, why is he so interested in this East African country? Because of the revival that I've seen in the spirit. This, this country, they can delay the revival, but they can't deny God the revival that he wants. I saw three watcher angels with control over the three signs and that are watching over that nation. The current leader in that nation is forgetting that the power he has at the present moment, he got it from God during trouble sometimes. God says, if you destroy my plan for this nation, and the world, I will destroy your legacy completely. And you will finish your years on earth in pain, tears, and betrayal. Look at your neighbor and say they can delay the revival. They can delay the revival. But they cannot deny God the revival that he has intended. This East African country, before me, number one, we released a prophetic message for an East African country on 1 September 2019 last year about a spiritual awakening. And the thing that we were seeing which was going to cause the spiritual awakening to be aborted, if those who are descending were not careful. Number two, we released a prophetic message for an East African country on 1 January 2020 this year. And finally, we released a prophecy for an East African country on 12 February 2020. So this is the last message that I am releasing pertaining to this subject. Look at your neighbor and say he's releasing the last message. Because the message has got some in things which are not interesting, which if they choose to be stubborn, they are going, definitely going to see them. They are going to learn through pain. Because if you don't want to learn through information, you learn through what? Pain. You know, one philosopher said there are two things which cause a person to change. It's information and pain. Information and pain. Those who refuse information, the only other avenue for them to change is what? Pain. In Debele, we say, The one who refuses wise counsel or advice, they only learn from bleeding, literal, the literal translation of that saying. Still on the East African country, God says to those who have the power to choose and chart the way forward for this nation, whatever choices you make, you will pay a price if you choose what God has not chosen. The Spirit of God says, choice of traditionalism and the upholding of ancient demonic strongholds will definitely have consequences for both now and the future. They will have consequences both now and in the future. I saw in the spiritual realm three signs that God will unleash over the East African nation in question. As soon as wrong choices have been made 
and confirmed. Two of the signs will be by human hands. Say two of the signs will be by human hands. I will speak one of the signs so that intercessors can pray. Because innocent people can just lose their blood. One of the signs that I saw is terrorism. I was praying and asking God, how can this be prevented? Because the people will suffer, people didn't make this decision. God reminded me of the story when David did the census. You remember? The people died, it is not David who made the decision. It's just ordinary citizens in the kingdom of David. They are the ones that suffered. When two elephants decide to go on a, on a walk, it's the grass that suffers and the trees. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Two of the signs will be by human hands when they manifest. And I've already told you one of the signs. It is terrorism. No matter how much they think they are protected, the East African nation that I'm talking about, it's not protected by its army, it is protected by God. Look at your neighbor and say it is not protected by an army. It is not protected by an army. But it is protected by God. So, one of the signs is terrorism. No matter how much they try to close their borders to deploy police all over the place, God will allow with his angels terrorism to take place in a place where terrorism ought not to take place. Just to show them that he is what? He is God. Let them make a wrong decision and see what will happen. As soon as they make a wrong decision, they will know that God is God because this message we are speaking it now. It's not that we want them to experience terrorism. It's because we have seen it in the spirit and we are giving them a warning so that they can avoid foolishness. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And one of the signs will be a supernatural event which no human being can cause or initiate. Right now, these people have been harassed by locusts. Just imagine insects. Their government is at their wit's end because of insects. Just imagine if God can, can harass them to remind them that I've got things which I want to do with you. He harasses them with insects. What more this sign which I saw, which I will not mention. There is a sign, I mean a supernatural event. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, an event which only God can do. Hallelujah. A supernatural event which no human being can cause or initiate. All these things will be clear within the next three and a half years. That's what the Holy Spirit told me.